Just put them there. Diana! Diana! What is it, Gabriel? What's all this stuff you've ordered? Oh, it's arrived at last, about time. <sighs> Reams of it, whatever it is. Thank you. It's for the party. Uh, linen cloths, napkins, table centres. Throwing money around again? We have to do it properly, darling. The Hudsons will expect nothing less. Yes. You're not still worried about Friday, are you? Of course not. What is it, then? Well, it's just that, on paper, I'm exactly right for this job. Wouldn't you say? Retired MP with local links? Perfect. Then why haven't they offered it to me already? Tell me that. They're ditherers. They just need a bit of a push, that's all. This party will do the trick, no question. You are sure of that? Leave it to me. By midnight on Friday, the Hudsons will have offered you a contract and all will be well. Whatever would I do without you? <laughs> I dread to think. I thought we could go together. Oh, did you know? So left the village party. Baked potatoes, fireworks, toffee apples, and me. What more could a girl ask for? <laughs> a lot of things actually fill. Like not standing ankle deep in mud for a start. Spoiled sport. <clears throat> Look at the time. I love you and leave you, as they say. Tira. What did you say, Oscar? Oh, uh, nothing. <laughs> nothing at all. Right then. I'll get on, shall I? Where's Bellamy's? Oh, he we went out to lunch late, sir. Sorry, Sarge. I should think so. I was, uh Yes? Well, unexpectedly detained. I bet you were. Right. Well, I'm over at Firth Manor with our retired cabinet minister. You, Bellamy, can reorganise the filing cabinets. They're a complete mess. Alphabetical order. Can you manage that? Just about, Sarge. Good. There you go. Cheers, dear. Good. Hey, hey, you're just, you're just the lad I wanted to see. Are, are you still in charge of that, that bonfire party on Friday night? Yeah. Have you, have you fixed the, the fireworks? Not yet, no. Well, you're in luck, cos I've got some. And, the, and they're real top-notch, they've got labels on and everything, and I can do them really cheap. What's the catch? They're in one. Well, not as far as you're concerned, but I'm, I'm, I'll do it for hardly any profit as my contribution to the community, cos I'm a part of it. Cheap, you say? Ha, ah, you won't get them any cheaper. Don't try and palm us off with any of your rubbish, mate. I don't know what you've heard, but those days are gone. I only deal in, in quality merchandise these days, and these, these are good quality at a good price. All right. I love them. Well, thank you very much, sir. And congratulations on your retirement. Yes, well, there's more to life than the House of Commons, you know. I gather you've taken up a consultancy over at Hudson's. I'm considering it. One of several options, you understand. Quite so. So it's a splendid firm, Hudson's. I'm sure you'll fit in there very well. Thank you, Sergeant. You're very kind. Anyway, leave it to me. I'll make sure security arrangements are up to scratch. I hope so. There'll be some very important people here on Friday night. So do your best. Excellent. Put us on the map. I look forward to it. Sir? <laughs> They're in the loft. There's about four cartons. They're marked fireworks, so even you ought to be able to spot them. Come on. Can we let them off in the air, Mr Greengrass? Oh, what a very good idea, David. Then I'll have a note to sell, but a load of dubbins. Brain before mouth, David. But, but I'll be able to set them off and get to the party, won't I? When you eventually fetch them... Go on, hurry up. You'll get a rocket where you don't want them. Fireworks, David! It begins with an F. What's all this, then, Holdsworth? 
It's the village party of Friday. I thought I'd get started on the bonfire. Well, you can get rid of it. What do you mean? I'm holding my retirement party here on Friday night. Selected guests only. But we always hold it here. Everyone comes to the party. Well, this year they don't. And while I'm paying your wages, you answer to me, not the villagers. Now, get rid of it. No. Are you refusing to obey my orders? It looks like it, doesn't it? Well, in that case, you can go. Go on. What? Not clear enough for you. You're set. Fire. Get off my land. Oh, what are you? I'm going. You can stick your rotten job. Sorry to disturb you. My dog has just made a beeline behind your house. He's got the scent of a rabbit, I expect. Oh, I, I should introduce myself. I'm Jennifer Bennett. I've just moved in to one of the cottages across the meadow. Diana Firth, pleased to meet you. How are you settling in? All right? Well, not exactly. <sighs> My staff is stuck in London, some mix-up with the paperwork. It's a nuisance, really, but there it is. Well, you must come and have supper with us here tonight. Oh, no, I couldn't possibly impose on you like that. Well, you wouldn't be imposing. I'd love it, and my husband would too, I'm sure. We're only recently back here ourselves. Gabriel's just retired. Well, we'd enjoy your company. Is 7.30 for 8 all right? Fine. Thank you. <laughs> oh, there he is. Come on. <laughs> I'll see you later, then. Look forward to it. Bye. Bye. And here's PC Bellamy come to cheer us all up. It might never happen, Phil. Mm. The party's been cancelled. The Firth's got some do up at the manor on Friday for a load of bigwigs and it's all hands on deck. Just our lucky. Oh, what a shame. And I got me red wellies out specially. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe we can do something else sometime. Yeah, all right. Oh, there you are, mate. Now, Judd, I've got all that sorted out. Here is the, uh, here's the account, mate. You can give me half now and half when I do Forget it. What do you mean, forget it? There's not going to be no party. Firth's put the mockers on it. We well, can't do that. That's what I said. Got sacked for me trouble and all. Oh, what, what, what are we going to do with the fireworks? Well, you'll have to let them off somewhere else. Who cares about the fireworks, anyway? What about my job? Here we are. Thank you. There. Thanks. A toast, what shall it be? Past is new, how about that? Very apt. <laughs> Past is new. Past is new. Mm. Do sit down. Thank you. So, what brings you to Aidensfield, Jennifer? Well, I, I gave up my job recently. I decided to move to the country, and I've painted off and on for the past few years. So, now I'm my own boss. I can indulge myself. No excuses. Good for you. I'm full of admiration. How about you? Well, uh, nothing creative, sadly. Being a politician's wife, it's a pretty thankless task, isn't it? Also, I'm led to believe. I wouldn't go that far. It's hectic, certainly, but it can be very rewarding. What do they say? Behind every successful man? Oh, we work as a team. We look out for one another. And after 30 years, well... Anyway, Gabriel shouldn't be long. I just need to check on dinner. Oscar? Oh. G and T, please. Right. I take it you'll be coming on Friday, Oscar? Well, uh, yes, I don't see why not. Excellent opportunity to bend the ears of the people in power. Council matters, funding. 
How's your chance? Well, thanks for the invitation. I appreciate it. You got a nerve coming in here, Firth, after what you've just done. Hey, I've been back here five minutes. You start chucking your weight around. We've all got rights to that bit of land, not just you. Tradition's been going on for years. Well, that's where you're wrong. The heath is part and parcel of my estate. Right of way is granted at my discretion. If that's what you think. Come on, that's enough. Yeah, yeah, washed up you are. Had it. Yesterday's man. Get out of here, you yob. No wonder you got the boot. Fit for the scrap heap and now else. You slanderous lout. Come on, outside. No. Oh, yeah, it's me that gets chucked out, isn't it? He's the one that started it. Wants it. He calls you a yob and yat like one. Shut it! I don't need a lecture from you, Bellamy. No. Well, you need a lecture from someone. Come on. That's terrible to see somebody do a thing like that, Mr. Firth. Can't expect anything better from Lout. Exactly, sir. You took the words right out of our mouth, sir. Right, come on. Down the station. Come on, give me a hand here, will you? No, go and give Mr. Firth a hand. There's a good lad. Uh, uh, about this um, this party Friday night, I, I bet a few uh, fireworks wouldn't go amiss. What? Well, I've, I've got a few in stock, and they're real bobby dazzlers, you know. And I mean, I, I do them at the right price, and they, they really make the thing go. Later, later. Well, there's no, no time like the present, is there? Sir? Yeah, if you want to do the deal now, you see, I can make all the arrangement and Bob's your auntie. They good quality. Oh yes, sir. Top, top of the range. You've got labels on and everything. And I've got bangers, rockets, catherine wheels, the lot. All right. Green thank, class. Thank you very all much. Right. Come on, thank out of there, you. I'm late right. enough already with all this. All right, David. Thank you. Well, hey, <laughs> I thought we were going to be lumbered within fireworks. I think we're going to make a few quid. Are we? Well, I am. If I do, you might. <laughs> Sorry, old love. Got a bit held up with old Oscar. Oh, Gabriel, there you are. This is Jennifer Bennett, our new neighbour. Moved from London, like us. Pleased to meet you, Gabriel. How do you do? We started without you, I'm afraid. We were absolutely famished. Of course. I do apologise. Is it to be a new, permanent neighbour, uh, Jennifer? Yes, that's right. Poor Jennifer. Has half her thing stranded in London in some storage place in Battersea. Not a very auspicious start to her stay in the country, is it, Gabriel? No. No, it is not. Next time you'll be explaining yourself to the magistrate's bench. So, do yourself a favour. Stay out of trouble. Do not pass through. Do not collect 200 pounds. What's that? No. Earth sacking him this afternoon must have spouted off. Well, let's just hope he nipped it in the bud. need Sherlock Holmes to work this one out, Sergeant. Judd Holdsworth is responsible. Well, it may look that way, sir. Look but... that way. We saw him do it. It was definitely Holdsworth. How many saw... more times Only have you I... you did say the biker was wearing a helmet. Who else could it be? Well, we do need positive identification, sir, otherwise... He's going to get away with it. <laughs> Why am I not surprised to hear that? Please, Gabriel, it's really not... None of this would have happened. If you kept him locked up overnight. He was released on bail, sir. We will talk to Holdsworth, and if we have reason to believe he was responsible, he will be dealt with accordingly. I'm in your hands, Sergeant. But I want this out of the way by Friday. 
I don't have to tell you that, I'm sure. We'll do what we can. Uh, David, you better get the fireworks on the back of the truck and get them over to Firths and cop the wages. Well, I've done them already, Mr Greygrass. What, off your own bat? Wonders will never cease. I never thought I'd see the day when you'd use your own initiative. You better initiative yourself into the cabin. We'll get over there. We could postpone our party until next week, perhaps. Don't be absurd. Your loyalties are in the wrong place, Diana. What do you mean? I should be your priority, not the villagers. But you are, Gabriel, always. Look, forget about the villagers. We can't change the date. The official invitations have gone out. Don't you have any idea what this job means to me? Of course I have. It's just that we've put everyone against us with all this. We're bankrupt. Is that clear enough for you? Oh, Gabriel, you do exaggerate. It's no exaggeration. Without this job, we're going to have to sell up everything. My creditors won't wait any longer. But how can we be? I took a bit of a tumble on the stock exchange. Cleaned us out, rather. There's nothing left? Nothing at all. Oh, Gabriel, how awful. Now do you see how important this do is? I shall have high flyers, dignitaries, all patting me on the back. To the Hudson's, I look like the candidate of their dreams. I don't know what to say. It's all such a shock. Oh. We'll get through it, old love. Like we always do. Together. So, Mr Firth got it wrong. Must have. It wasn't you careering around his estate on your bike at all hours of the night. No. He must have been having a nightmare. So you were nowhere near Firth Manor last night, is that what you're trying to say? Yes. So where were you? Here, tucked up in bed. Last night you were cautioned following on a fray outside the Edensfield Arms. So? What was all that about then? A bit of a disagreement, that's all. Would you care to elaborate on that? No, I wouldn't. It's sorted out now anyway. Mr Firth told us that he sacked you yesterday. What of it? Well, perhaps you thought you might leave him with something to remember you by, is that it? I told you I was nowhere near Firth Manor last night. It says word against mine. At the moment it is, yes. You know where I live, Sergeant. When you've got your proof, come back to me. Don't worry, Mr Holdsworth. We will. Kid. What are you doing? Get in on my bath. No, no I, I was agreeing. I just put him up on the trot last night. Last night? It poured down last night, you idiot. I'll just try and use my initiative and save some time. I'll give you initiative. <coughs> ah, there you are, Greengrass. Kept your word. Well, let's see what you got. Uh, yeah, I'm, uh, I'm afraid there's, there's been a bit of a mix-up. David, as it as is his won't he, he's, he's put the wrong fireworks on the wrong truck. Well, surely one lot of fireworks looks like any other. Uh, no, 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 as I told you, yours are a really special lot, sir. Don't mess me about, Wingoss. <laughs> as if, sir. We'll, we'll, we'll be back. <laughs> well, I will. I'm not too sure about you. Get it done. You're all right, Phil. I suppose. You don't look it. No, thanks, Alf. I'm not in the mood for chocolate biscuits. Oh, must be serious. I promised Gina we'd go to the village do together. Oh, I'll see. I said I'd make it up to her somehow, but I don't know what to suggest. Well, fish supper. A walking tour around Whitby. Beetle drive, maybe. Thanks, Alf. Put her off for good, that would. Well, I'm sure you think of something. Right, David, you better get them off and bury them somewhere where they'll do no harm. Oh, sorry, Mr Greengrass, you will be on the dock your wages. You realise what we've got now? We've got to buy her a note to sell it. Can we make some? Oh, of course we can. I didn't know you got a degree in chemistry. I haven't. 
What have you got? A, a, a stash of dynamite in your bedroom your mother doesn't know about? No. I thought it unlikely. Well, where are we going to get the explosives from? The post office or the co-op? Just what about that army block, you know? You know, they want to get all them, them boots and tyres and that off. Don Snow go. Yeah, that's not a bad idea. Yeah, he, he might be able to get us some, some thunder flashes and that in the army stores. Hey, you might just have found a way to get back into my good books. I'll go and give him a ring. The whole village is talking about the party being cancelled. Can Firth really do that? He can pretty much do what he likes. Even though it's been going on for years? Well, there's a possibility the deeds might say the villagers have some rights on the land. And then Firth would have to back down. Which he won't do by appealing to his better nature. It's all about face more than anything, and that's red rag to a bull as far as Judd Holdsworth is concerned. So? OK, I'll see what I can find out. Thanks. Very gentle. Now, we'll hear no more about it. I want your assurance on that. Of course. What on earth are you doing here? What's this? That's mine, that is. I just wanted to stop all this, Gabriel. Please just let him take it and we can drop the whole thing. You must be out of your mind handing over money to a common criminal. Get out before I call the police. Go on! You regret this, Firth. Is there a threat? Damn right it is. You wait. You don't mess around with me and get away with it. Hey, lovely. I knew you wouldn't let me down, Donald. So what do you want this lot for, then? Not planning on blowing up Astridley Police Station, are you? <laughs> Many of true words spoken in jest. No, as a matter of fact, we're, we're going to see if we can make a few fireworks. Aye, you'll be careful with it. Don't want to add to the nation's homeless. <laughs> Very good. <coughs> right, get it on the truck. Yeah. Ah, now, I'm going to pay you, what were it, three quid? Three quid? With a five Claude, discount included. Five? Should, should, should we say four? Say what you like. I want five. I know what you do want, yeah. It's a good job for you I'm not a guy of forks. I might harbour thoughts of doing something rather nasty in your cellar. Sacked him, Gabriel, not in the way you did. No, don't be absurd. You have to stand up to these people. Let them know who's boss. Where are you going? Calling the police, of course. Oh, hi, Phil. <laughs> Fancy going to the pitches later. I hope you're not planning on whisking Gina away somewhere, Bellamy. She's got work to do here. <laughs> oh. Actually, I'd love to go with you. A change of scenery is just what I need. Oh, great. I'll see you around seven, then. I can't wait. Quite a mess, sir. And it will come as no surprise to you, Sergeant, to learn that our friend Holdsworth was here again last night. Doing what? Threatening us, of course. In what way? I stopped my wife handing over some money. Money he had demanded with menaces, I hasten to add. You tell them, Diana. Judd had telephoned me earlier in the day, asking me for money in lieu of notice. I agreed, provided he left us alone. But you stopped the money from changing hands, sir. You're damn right I did. And you think this was an act of revenge? What else could it be? Mrs Fur? I have to agree. It does look like that. Jennifer. What do you want, Gabriel? Look, I don't know what you're doing in Edensfield. No, I'd have thought that was pretty obvious. But if it's your intention to make me feel guilty in some way... I'd be wasting my time. Guilt is outside your emotional vocabulary. Please. Listen to me. I'm being considered for a pretty important job. A whisper of scandal. 
and I won't get it. I'll be ruined. Oh, heaven forbid. Please. Until the contract is signed. Keep out of the way. Where have I heard that before? And Jennifer, don't come to the house again. Or what? You don't want to see me ruined, do you? You'll just have to wait and see, won't you, Gabriel? For once, the ball's very much in my court. You don't deny being at the house last night? Of course not. And you did threaten them? He's got no right to sack me without a penny. The rights and wrongs of your contract of employment are not in dispute. Did you or did you not threaten the Firths? All right. But I didn't break in or wreck the place. That the break-in was a coincidence? It must be. You had the motive and the opportunity, and yet you still maintain you didn't break into their house or destroy their garden. I find that rather hard to believe. Well, that's your problem. Oh, no, it's not, Mr Holdsworth. It's yours. Judd Holdsworth, I'm arresting you on suspicion of malicious damage. I have waited a long, long time For somebody to call my And at last he's come along Baby, all nothing can go wrong We meet every night at eight And I don't get home till late I say to myself each day Just who I wanted to see. I'm just off, Sarge. No, you're not. Judd Holdsworth's being held overnight. You're on cell duty. I've got something fixed up for tonight, Sarge. Cancel it. Bad luck, Phil. Oh, you can say that again. What's Gina going to say? Oh, I'm sure she'll understand. Alf, you couldn't do me a favour, could you? How sweet of you. Look, Gabriel, what Jennifer's bought us. Very nice. I'll put them in water straight away. What are you playing at? I told you to stop coming here. Oh, did you? Must have slipped my mind. Jennifer, we had a deal, you and I. You've gone back on every promise you made to me, Gabriel. Why should I stick to mine? As soon as I've left... I'm sick of your excuses. I've heard nothing else for 15 years. Once this contract is signed, you'll get everything that we agreed, with interest. Why should I believe you this time? Tell me that. Jennifer, don't do this. Not after everything we've been through. After all, we loved each other once. They're magnificent, aren't they, darling? Yes, yes, they are. So kind of you to think of us, Jennifer. Now, what can I get you? It's not too early for a sherry, is it? Oh, no. Um, not for me, thanks. I can't stay. Oh, what a shame. Anyway, you can come to our party tomorrow night. Well, um... Yes, of course she must, mustn't she, Gabriel? We insist. If I'm invited? Of course you are. Well, goodbye then, Gabriel. Goodbye. I'm glad to hear you're feeling better, sir. But I'm afraid I've got some rather bad news. What is it now? 
You were right about your brakes being faulty. It seems your brake fluid pipe had been tampered with, as well as your handbrake. So whoever was responsible for it could be looking at charges of attempted murder. Which only goes to prove my point, doesn't it, Constable? Sir? That this softly, softly approach which you and your sergeant have taken all along clearly isn't working. You're referring to Judd Holdsworth? Of course I am. Judd Holdsworth spent last night in police custody. What? And wasn't released until this morning. Judd has always maintained his innocence. And now it seems he might just well have been telling the truth. So, tell me, um, did anyone else come to the house yesterday by any chance? No. Well, there's Jennifer Bennett. She's bought a cottage nearby. But she wouldn't have anything to do with this. No, of course not. But she may have seen someone on her way through the grounds. Well, we'll have a word with her anyway. Um, but in the meantime, if there's anything else you can think of that might be of any help... We'll let you know. <laughs> you need about twice as much powder as these. Are we doing this right, Mr. Gregor? David, I'll do the reading, you do the doing, all right? And then, then tamp it down again once you've got enough in. Not too hard, you'll have the roof off. Oh, lovely. Now, stick a cane up it, put some coloured paper around it, we've got a rocket. Oh, lovely. We'll be here till next year, we will. Miss Bennett? Yes? Sorry to disturb you. It's all right. We're making some inquiries in the area. I wondered if we could have a word. Certainly. Come in. Thank you. Takes a little while, doesn't it, to get settled in? Yes, it certainly does. Longer than I expected, anyway. So, what can I do for you? Last night, Gabriel Firth was involved in a car crash. Oh, no. Is he all right? He'll survive, yes. Ah, oh, thank goodness. However, we've just discovered the car was tampered with. In fact, the Firths have been the subject of a series of attacks lately. How terrible for them. I had no idea. How well do you know the Firths? Not very. Um, they were kind enough to invite me to supper a couple of days ago, that's all. I see. But you've not seen them since? No. Oh, well, I popped in last evening with a thank you gift. Did you notice anyone in the grounds? No, no one. Miss Bennett, I wonder if we could continue this conversation down at the station. Whatever for? Two days ago, a hall at the Firth's Manor was vandalised. What's that got to do with me? The walls of the hall were daubed with paint. <sighs> this is outrageous. If you wouldn't mind, please, miss. All right, David, you better get him on the truck and then we'll get him round there. Try and be careful. Oh, I don't want to blow myself up on my Mr Greengrass. I should be so lucky. I'm just grateful you don't smoke. And don't forget, if it's raining, put him in the cab. Miss Bennett, perhaps you'd like to tell us again when you first met Mr and Mrs Firth. I've told you already, they invited me to supper the other evening. End of story. Wasting police time is taken seriously here, Miss Bennett. I'm not wasting your time. I could say the same thing about you. Mr Firth is hosting quite an important function up at his house tonight. I doubt he'd be desperately happy to come down here and help us with inquiries, but it might have to come to that. All right. I'll tell you the truth, but I must insist on your discretion. Of course. Gabriel and I have been together for the past 15 years. You're his mistress. I was. He agreed to give me a small stipend when I left my job, a token gesture for all the years I'd stuck by him, kept out of the way. But he's failed to do this? Yes, he has. He says he'll honour his agreement. Quite frankly, I'm not holding my breath. And the reason for your move up here was uh, for what? To embarrass him in some way? You threatened to tell his wife? No. I could have done that years ago if I wanted to. 
I just... Yes? I suppose I wanted to unnerve him a little. I thought by being here I could force him to reconsider, get him to pay up. So you broke into his house? No. What about Mr. Firth's car crash? You can't think I'm responsible for that. No, but you were in the house before the accident occurred. The car was in the garage. I didn't touch his car. I went straight home. All right. Let's start from the beginning, shall we? The break-in at Firth Manor. All right, I admit to that. Pretty stupid way of drawing attention to yourself, do you agree? <laughs> I'm sick of being ignored. I could have spilled the beans years ago, been paid off by some newspaper, but I didn't, thinking one day Gabriel would leave Diana, as he always said he would. <sighs> and in the end, it was him who left me. I appreciate your frankness, Miss Bennet. Now, if I could press you on the little matter of Mr. Firth's car. I'm really sorry, Gina. There's nothing I could do. So sorry that it's taken you a whole day to apologise. You know what Craddock's like. Typical. Blame it on someone else. So what are you doing here anyway? Can I get you a drink or something? I just wanted to drop these off. Hi. Judd Holdsworth's not been in, has he? Only I've got a bit of news about the Heath. Oh, yeah, he was in earlier. He was trying to get people to gate crash Firth's too. He was getting quite a bit of support and all. I'd better get over there straight away. I'll come with you if I can, Phil. I might be able to help. If Firth will listen to me, that is. You OK? Look, uh, Gina, why don't you go to the party? Well, won't Mr Firth be expecting you? No, I don't think I'll be missed. Besides, I'm not really in the mood. You sure? I've just said so. Now go. Before I change my mind. Get away from here, all of you. This is a private party. You are not welcome. You're wasting your breath, Beth. You're outnumbered. Right. We'll see what the police have to say about this. You, Holdsworth. Get off my land. Miss Bennett, you must understand how this seems. You admit to trashing the Firth's house in revenge, and yet... Look, I regret what I did, but it was an attack against Gabriel's property, not against Gabriel himself. Besides, it defeats the object somewhat, doesn't it? What do you mean? Dead. Gabriel can't pay me anything at all. Holdsworth, I warned you. About time. Where's Craddock? Get these people away from here. Back off, Holdsworth. Come on, before you do something you really will regret. I'm not going anywhere. Neither are they. Just back off, eh? May I speak with you, Mr. Firth? Who are you? I'm Jackie Bradley. I'm a local solicitor. And? The villagers enjoy right of way over the heath and have done for many years. At my discretion. No, that's where you're wrong, Mr. Firth. When you bought the estate 20 years ago, you did so without understanding legally binding. It was a condition of the sale. You're talking nonsense. I have a copy here. By attempting to withhold access to this land, you are in fact in breach of this agreement and breaking the law. Now, if you don't want the indignity of the police removing you from your own estate, I would simply suggest getting on with your own celebration and allowing the villagers to get on with theirs.
Marvellous, isn't it? We've come all this way, it just, it just walks off. So can we go like the fireworks now? No, we can't, right? not till we get paid. Flaming knobs are all the same. Hello. Hello Lovely again. to see you again. Firth's car, Sarge. And? I found this. It's initialed on the back. D.F. Diana Firth. Tom. Gabriel. Uh, do you know my wife? So glad you could come, Mrs. Thank Hudson. You. Thank you. You know, it's a fabulous house, this Gabriel, if you don't mind me saying. Uh, not bad, is it? Mass is to do, of course. <laughs> oh, well. We should be able to formalise everything this week, by the way. You know, thrash out our offer of employment. That's great news. Great news. Thank you. You know, it's good to see you've got a sense of community, Gabriel. It's very rare these days. I mean, the whole village must be out there. That's true hospitality, that. That's very impressive. Well, it wouldn't be a party without the villagers, would it? <laughs> Diana and I are thick as seeds with most of them. And it's what gives this place its quality. I've always said so. Gina? What are you doing here? Fancy a bit of fresh air? Am I forgiven, then? Looks like it. Oh, it's worked out quite well in the end, then. What else? You and me under a stylish hair. I wouldn't go that far. <laughs> hey, you toffee apple. You certainly know how to treat a girl, don't you? Come on. Come on. Absolutely, Gabriel. I couldn't agree more. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'll go and tell Diana the good news. Please do. Diana! Diana! What are you doing? What does it look like? I was waiting for you. The Hudsons are anxious to meet you. I'm leaving you, Gabriel. What on earth are you talking about? I'm leaving you, I said. Simple enough. You can't be serious. I... Take your hands off me! Heaven's sake, keep your voice down. They can hear us. Is that all you can say? After 30 years of marriage, the only thing that bothers you is that someone else will discover what you're really like. Diana, you can't do this now. You really think I didn't know that all those years you've had a mistress, and now that you've moved her into this village, it's intolerable! I didn't. That's nothing to do with me. Of course not. It never does. Uh, Diana, listen to me. We... You're never going to change, are you, Gabriel? My only regret is that it's taken till now to discover it. I hope you realise what sort of man you're dealing with here. Personally, I wouldn't trust him to post letters in a pillar box. That's my reference for what it's worth. Diana! Diana, you must listen to me. I've spent a lifetime listening to you, Gabriel, and it's left me with nothing. Jennifer and I are no more. She's done this out of spite. I don't blame her. She's given the best part of her life to you as well. Mrs Firth? What is it? We'd like to have a word with you, please, ma'am. Uh, not now. I'm in a hurry to catch a train. I'm afraid we'll have to insist. Well, what's this all about? We believe your wife can help us with our inquiries, Mr Firth. Inquiries? Into what? Your accident, sir. That's absurd. Diana wouldn't have anything to do with that. Well, I'm sorry. 
But we have evidence which suggests otherwise. Have you taken leave of your senses, Craddock? That's the most ridiculous accusation I've heard. Stop it, Gabriel. I'll call our solicitor straight away. There's no need. I'll waste no more of your time, Sergeant. Diana? I did it for both of us, Gabriel. For me and Jennifer. What? Your little accident. Funny how you managed to walk away from it unscathed. Just like you've walked away from everything else. Yeah. All right, you're victory! Yeah. Yeah. 